Let me see wow. Hogwarts check with bestie. House. <laughs> Favorite trio. About a million reasons. I bow down to pray. I try to make the world seem. Favorite boy. For eternity, the waves will Favorite girl. Favorite spell. The train in evil infestations. Favorite villain. Go ahead Potter books that you completely misunderstood as a kid. I thought Snape was a woman. Through the first three books, I must have like missed the pronouns or something because I remember reading the Lupin Boggart scene and being like, why would it be so funny that Snape was wearing Neville's grandmother's clothes? And then I realized. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Gotta never love one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and pitfall calls. I'll be here never out with you. We laugh until we think we'll die, barefoot on a summer night. Nothing new is sweeter than with you. And in the street, we run a free like it's only you and me. Jeez, you're something. To fire, Harry? No, Professor. Harry! Huh? Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Good morning. I just wanted to say that.
I'm not finished. very specific Harry Potter opinion that you will not budge on. Bellatrix Lestrange is a goddamn Hufflepuff. Now let me explain. Every single house is supposed to have their good side and their bad side, right? Like every house has something that can be taken to the extreme, both good and bad. Now Hufflepuffs are known for being very loyal, right? Right? And what was Bellatrix? Her whole personality was loyalty to Voldemort. She wasn't interested in world domination, or she didn't even have any particular ambition. She just wanted to follow Voldemort. Her personality was entirely comprised of blind faith in Voldemort. And that is exactly how the bad side of Hufflepuff can be portrayed. As blind faith. Blind loyalty. I don't care what J.K. Rowling says about a lot of things. But like, I'm not budging on this. Bellatrix is a Hufflepuff. I know a lot of people have touched on the fact that the currency system in Harry Potter doesn't make a lot of sense. The fact that in the Chamber of Secrets, the Weasleys only had one galleon and a handful of sickles in their vault, even though Arthur is a ministry employee, and they had to buy the books for all their kids. However, Harry inherited not only the Potter fortune, but the Black fortune. Can you imagine what Ron was thinking when that happened? The Weasleys in general? They are dirt poor. And Harry has now inherited the fortunes of two extremely wealthy families. The Weasleys have barely enough money to survive, like, as a big family. And Harry is now likely one of the richest wizards in all of the UK. Like, obviously the way he got the money isn't great. You know, his parents dying and then his godfather dying. So, like, I wouldn't be jealous of that. But if I had no money, and this kid I knew had basically all of the money, I'd be bitter as hell. Master has given Dobby a Glock! Dobby is thug! These are my Harry Potter head cannons, and you guys wanted more of Neville, which makes me so happy. Alright, 100%. Neville is the hot, nerdy teacher that everyone has a crush on, and I'm talking like students and staff. You cannot tell me that Neville is not the kind of guy to wear, like, professional clothing, but then just have those weird, fun socks on. And they're always like plant-based designs. <laughs> Number three, Neville tells all of his students every single year, if you can guess which of these plants is my favorite, I'll let you have an A for the whole year. You don't have to do anything. The thing is, it's a trick question that no one's ever gotten right because all of the plants are his favorite. Finally, once Neville starts teaching at Hogwarts, he decides that since Albus isn't there to ask Minerva anymore at every single Hogwarts occasion, he would be the one to ask her to dance because he's always thought of Minerva as a mom and he's always loved to dance. Our new potions professor and Slytherin headmaster, Mrs. Sue Sylvester. Just add some protein powder, some blended beef bones, a bit of Ipecac to get the bowels moving, and just a dash of werewolf hair. Yes, my house elf's name is William, and he lives in my tool shed, and I deny him healthcare because I believe that being a house elf is a pre-existing condition. What's the potion supposed to do? Well, Flash, it's supposed to make you look less ugly, because I'm tired of coming in here every morning and having to look at your ugly faces. Especially you, Weird Al Grangervich, so drink up. You think this is hard? Try sleeping with Argus Filch and having him say, let's just be friends. That was hard. Dumbledore, she's a Death Eater. You have no proof. You're wearing a black robe and carrying a Death Eater mask. But other than that, you have no proof. What the hell is a Hufflepuff? Hey, what's up? Uh, my favorite temperatures are when it's 69 or 420 degrees outside, because uh, what well, uh, well, can I say? I like to party. Hey, Lucy, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be president. Aww. So I can make slavery legal again. Aww. Aww. 
They didn't mean he dinosaur? You dumb bitch, that's the Cremoda dragon! Oh, true. Can you pass the toast? 10,000 points to Gryffindor. In the butter. 700,000. He's got here? Uh, you know what? He just left. Hey, Katie. Stop! Hey, Katie. <laughs> I'm sensitive, Aubrey! Red Robin. Young. Oh, no! Oh, no! Thanks for coming over to play. This is my older brother, Tim. Sup, I've googled boobs. He's the coolest guy in the world, I know. Hey son, why didn't you mow the damn lawn? Uh, I don't know, maybe because I don't give a fuck. It's my boy. Oh my god. Are you the one person in the universe who's never read Harry Potter? Please, if you knew how many hours I have wasted taking sorting hat quizzes. <laughs> Ravenclaw? Sometimes Slytherin, yeah. That explains the lies then. Hmm. I guess Gryffindor explains the judgment. A little bit older, a black leather jacket, a bad reputation. Insatiable habits He was on to me One look and I couldn't breathe I like when you get mad I guess I'm pretty glad That you're alone You said she's scared of me I mean I don't see what she sees But maybe it's cause I'm wearing your cologne Raise funds in D.C. For the Washington Monument She tells my story I speak out against slavery The Harry Potter series The Harry Potter series if James Potter had a gun Hi guys and welcome to Harry Potter Facts. You probably wouldn't know if you didn't read the books. Part 15 of The Love Goods. After the Battle of Hogwarts, everyone was coming up to Harry in mass trying to congratulate him on defeating Voldemort. But Luna had always been the most perceptive of his friends and she knew that he really was going through a lot emotionally and needed to get away. So Luna offered to create a distraction for him so that he could slip on his cloak of invisibility and sneak out of the room. Harry had never been so grateful for Luna as he was in that moment. Years later, Harry and Ginny would give their daughter Lily the middle name Luna in honor of Luna Lovegood. Although it's not covered in the books, Luna would go on to become a magic zoologist and she would travel the world learning about different magical creatures. Unfortunately, she would never see a real Crumplehorn Snorkak. She would, however, meet a fellow magic zoologist named Rolf Scamander, who was the grandson of Newt Scamander, and they would fall in love and have twin boys. Some more childhood ruining theories. J.K. Rowling is actually Rita Skeeter who is exiled from the magic world for reporting lies. She's so angry about being exiled that she decides to write books revealing the entirety of the magic world to the muggle world. To her dismay, the muggle world believes that her stories are fiction, but she becomes rich and famous anyway. Twilight is a tragedy rather than a romance. As Bella gets more entangled with Edward, she becomes less and less independent and more and more selfish. She's accepting of his abusive behavior, stalking her on trips with her friends, removing parts from her car so she can't go see Jacob, creeping into her window at night, emotional manipulation, etc. To the point that when he completely abandons her by walking out on the trust and commitment they built together in spite of having vowed to remain together no matter what, she's still willing to take him back. Edward is clearly entirely morally bankrupt. 
Let me know what you think and make sure to follow. We are so close to 300k. Thank you guys. I love you. This behind the scenes Harry Potter fact shows me that Rupert Grint actually has massive quaffles. During filming, obviously they would be on set for a long time and they have to fill the time, right? So Rupert decided to be artsy, to be um creative, if you will. And he decides to sketch one of his co-stars. In this case, the beautiful, stunning, talented, incredible potions daddy, Alan Rickman. Now, I get told I look like him a lot, so we know that the profile is pretty standard, but the schnoz is a little on the um, larger side. So Rupert decided to accentuate some of those features. And while he was in potions class, which I mean, that's a power move. So he drew that and Alan caught him. Now, Alan was super sweet and even had Rupert sign it because he wanted to keep it forever. And he said he was very fond of it, which precious, love him. And I was just thinking about that now. Can you imagine the cojones you would have to have to make that portrait while Snape was there? I could never. Confidence or stupidity. I can't. Hogwarts is my home. A place where I can go to take this off my shoulder. Did someone take me What are you waiting for? Someone grab him! Look out here, you filthy squid! And every time it rains, it rains. And it's from heaven. I'm pissed off. And do you want to know why I'm pissed off today? I'll tell you why. The Battle of Hogwarts? Let me show you. I'm going to show you what they had the audacity to miss out in the movie. Charlie Weasley coming in on a literal dragon to fight and also Oliver Wood showing up on his quidditch broom ready to fight. Come on. Creature, of all people, Creature leading an army of house elves in Regulus's name. Professor Sprout and Neville, the Hufflepuffs that they are, were throwing mandrakes and plant pots at the Death Eaters. Harry using the Cruciatus, an unforgivable curse on the Carols all because they spat at McGonagall. Malfoys running through the battle wand list to try and find Draco and also Professor Trelawney throwing crystal balls at them. Harry's body was brought back supposedly dead. It was McGonagall who screamed in terror, not Ginny. Colin Creevery, who was underage, stayed to fight and died. Housekeeping. I'll come back later. The Dementors are amongst the foulest creatures to walk this earth. They feed on every good feeling, every... Happy memory. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death, but at a terrible price. First thing you want to know about hippogriffs is that they're very proud creatures. Boggarts are shapeshifters. They take the shape of whatever particular person fears the most. Fox is a phoenix, Harry. They burst into flame when it is time for them to die, and then they are reborn from the ashes. Yo, someone explain to me, like, why Voldemort used death magic on a baby when he could have just, like, picked the baby up by its legs and, like, slammed it against the wall, like, really fucking hard. Like, watch. But no, I'm gonna use magic instead. <laughs> Hufflepuff. You're joking, right? Nope. There must have been some sort of mistake. Try again. No, the hat is broken. I can't be in... Ugh. Kill this Dear father, please read this entire thing to the end. I'm in a bit of a situation, so what would you recommend? The sorting was today, and I tried to call it bluff, but that dusty old hat sorted me into Hufflepuff. Obviously it's wrong. We know I'm meant to be in Slytherin, and I'll still open the chamber as soon as I figure out how to get in. You said that we're descendants of Salazar himself, so if you don't fix this, I'm going to Avada Kedavra myself. Before we begin, Professor Dumbledore would like to say a few words. Hello, my little munchkins. Welcome to Hogwarts. Few announcements. Firstly, the Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. Unless you get detention. Then we'll send you in unprepared and unsupervised. There are giant spiders in there that'll eat your face clean off. Centaurs, you ever been kicked by a centaur? I tell you what, you ain't walking back. Tell them about the demons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's demons in there. You'll get possessed. Come back to the castle like... <laughs> Holy cricket. I saw a tiger in there once. A tiger? Are you sure you weren't in cat form and it wasn't just your shadow? I'll never feel a bit stupid. Next, third floor corridor. Out of bounds to anyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Is it too late to run? Yeah, it is. 
Now I can't tell you what's down there, it's a massive secret. It rhymes with tree-bedded log. Oh, a three-headed... Stop talking to me. Right, let's get the party started. Behind the Magic of the Harry Potter films, part 27. And today I'm going to be talking about the Basilisk. When they were first planning the filming of Chamber of Secrets, they decided that Basilisk was going to be completely CGI. However, they quickly realised that they'd at least need the Basilisk's mouth to be built physically so that Dan would have something to stab on the set when he killed it. And the head of Creature Effects, Nick Dudman, decided that if they were going to build the mouth, well, they may as well build the head. After all, in the early noughties, a CG shot could cost as much as $100,000, and building a creature itself could cost only $30,000, so you're actually saving money for the production. So Nick Dudman and his team actually ended up building the first 25 feet of a fully moving basilisk. This was mounted on a track and meant that it could fully move around Dan and essentially fight him. Unfortunately, only the basilisk head remains here at the tour. The neck was repurposed for another creature, which I will explain in another video. And if you're ever here at the tour, make sure to look in the basilisk's mouth, and if you look very closely, you'll see the stab wound that was left by Dan and the Sword of Gryffindor. Stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to talk about a very popular set. Well, what a man. I, I mean, very impressive transfiguration skills there, sir. Very impressive indeed. A ginger cat? Uh, are you related to the Weasleys by any chance? Help us get Molly on the flu call. Well, if you ever wanted to, you know, owl, talk about transfiguration or being a cat, then you know where I am. Hogwarts. I'm always there. It's gang beyond a joke now. Elbus, he is a cat, and he has tattoos. That is just my type on parchment. Oh my god! You applied first for the Defense Against the Dark Arts post, is that correct? Yes. But you were unsuccessful? Obviously. Oh, man. She don't know what she's doing. She don't know what she's doing. Yeah, she does. She knows exactly what she's doing. Where have you been? Harry, how wonderful to see you, dear. Bed's empty? No note? Car gone? You could have died! You could have been seen! Of course I don't blame you, Harry dear. This speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock around. That's right, on time. Here we go. It's tricky to rock. Oh, that's the way you want it. The bass and the tweeters make the speakers go to war. Link in the description. Are you interested in buying yourself some Harry Potter merch? Some amazing hoodies, shirts with your favorite HP University logo on it. From Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. Go click the link in my description box now. And get some awesome discounts from 20% up to 55% off. They offer you free shipping as well. So, what are you waiting for? Link in the description. You teasing me? Get up, get up. Throw a bobble it, and I'm a gobble it. 
I see you moving your head, go ahead, Bible learn you. We can cradle the bed, I'm straight racking it. The girl say me like this. Daddy, son. Yo. I have an idea. What's your idea? You should be. I'm not gonna be mercy. You should be mercy. I'm a gunny and so bored. She ended up losing and falling apart. Your tears are what I. Thank goodness you two are alright. Can you imagine a mother freaking being like, oh, where are all fucking all of my boys? Oh, they're dead? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this part. And Harry Potter visited my office in Hogwarts. Oh, I want him to scream at me like that. Right? Oh, my God. The way he's holding his neck. Also, that too, yeah. Look at his hands. Opening up new kings. <laughs> the last words out of the Dumbledore spoke to the pair of us. Harry is the best hope we have. Trust him. This is so dramatic, but cute. But, but it's serious. What gave you away? Hedwig, I think. Ship, 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 ship. <laughs> Not me crying right now. No, don't worry, he doesn't die. They let you pick any name you want when you get down there. And you landed on McLovin. Yeah, it was between that and Muhammad. Why the fuck would it be between that or Muhammad? Why don't you just pick a common name like a normal person? Muhammad is the most commonly used name on earth. Read a fucking book for once. The fact that you would even discuss my looks is insane. Any, either of you. I'm a bad bitch. Always been a bad bitch. Remember when I told you to steal from the white man in terms of reparations? Well, I did it! <laughs> and I do it again! <laughs> Give me my wallet back! <laughs> what? Hey, you dumb snake. Over here. Can someone take this tooth out of my ass? Bet you feel the poison coursing through your body already, don't you? No. Fake ass. She's immune to venom. It is hot as hell in this funky ass, hot ass room I'm in. Is that the grim- Name something ridiculous from the Harry Potter movies that just does not make sense. The fact that Barty Crouch Jr. runs out of Polyjuice Potion and the Goblet of Fire. In the books, when Dumbledore barges in on Harry and Moody, um, by themselves after Cedric dies, he's like, I'm assuming with all the excitement tonight that Alistair hasn't been taking his polyjuice potion on the hour every hour like he's supposed to. I'm just gonna wait for the polyjuice potion to wear off and then he'll turn back into who he really is. In the movie, Barty's flask is empty, all the bottles are empty, he's out of polyjuice potion. We learned in Chamber of Secrets that polyjuice potion takes a month to make. And because Snape had already accused Harry of stealing potion supplies to make Polyjuice Potion, we know that Barty Crouch Jr. was making his own Polyjuice and not buying it from someone. Some people have said, well, they wanted it to be a bigger reveal. They wanted it to have a bigger shock value. We had already seen Barty Crouch Jr.'s tongue thing in a flashback, and we had seen Moody do the tongue thing in front of Barty Crouch Sr., which is what got him killed. So it's just stupid. And I'm just fucking with him. I got nothing to do. Running through these checks like the ones on my show So don't get geeked up, bitch, like it beat up I'll tell that how I'm moving it Say something, I'm giving up on you <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, we started out friends It was cool, but it was all pretend and Yeah, yeah Oh, there's no backup dancers? Okay I'm sorry, what was that? Hello, my name is Elena Kurama, I was born with Kills Like Fish Dedicated to took the time Wasn't long until I called you mine Yeah, yeah Since you've been gone 
Hi everybody, my name is Stacy. Um, my hobbies include cuticle care and the e-network. And all you'd ever hear me say is how I picture me with you. That's all you ever hear me say. Why? What do you mean, why? She looks pretty tired to me. Preach it, Harry. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> I've been waiting in your room all day and you're just coming here. I'm sorry, darling. How long have you been in here for? Hours, days, years, who knows? Don't get dramatic. You wanna cuddle? Yeah. Don't forget about me again and you'll pay for it and I promise you. Huge tits, like you never seen. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that's, just, oh, that's wrong with my tits. <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry about my language. Your tits are fine. They're really, yeah. they're really quite nice. No, I, I, I don't work at Gringotts. My parents need legal representation, and I know your kind is very manipulative. I, so I don't know any wizard lawyers. Hey, Pansy, what's up? I was just thinking, are you in Slytherin because Jews are lizard people? I'm um, not related to Grip Hook. How are you not seeing the similarities? So you won't join us? No, I don't want to be involved! I was thinking, Avery, a brilliant career for you would be working at Gringotts. No. I don't work at Gringotts! George is cute, but James is cute, and Oliver's hot. Make it make sense. Welcome to what I would choose as my seven horcruxes. Number one, starting off strong with Betty White. Sis is immortal, so I will surely never die. Number two, I would probably go with a single drop of water and then I would throw it in the ocean. No explanation needed. Number three is the Sword of Godric Gryffindor because honey, you can't destroy a horcrux with a horcrux. Number four, in addition to my drop of water, I'm gonna do a grain of sand. And again, just toss it right in the ocean. Number six is a bit of a stretch. It would be the smallest size Lego piece you could possibly find, but make it a part of a giant Lego sculpture, like at Legoland or something. Because if you destroy something like that, Lego pieces everywhere. You're bound to step on one. Last but not least, number seven, the Elder Wand. Because now the most powerful wand in the world is cursed. I have some questions about plot holes for JK Rowling. Why do they have to buy new books every year, but then in the sixth year, Harry can just grab Snape's 30 year old book? and use it for potions class? Why are the Weasleys poor? Both the Weasleys and the Pruitts are members of the Sacred 28. Molly was the sole inheritor of the Pruitt fortune because both of her brothers died. Where did that money go? Why wasn't Remus involved in Harry's life more? He was innocent, he was just as good of a friend to James and Lily as Sirius was, I don't get it. And on that point, why did nobody give Sirius Veritaserum? He's like, I'm innocent. They're like, we don't believe you. Just give him Veritaserum. How come people can make things appear out of thin air, like McGonagall does with chairs, but you can't do that with food? And on that, how come you can't just transfigure things into food? Take a bowl, transfigure it into a chicken. Cook the chicken. Explain. Apparently this filter tells you who you should stop going after. Here's a little detail you might not have known about Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2.
In the scene where Ron and Hermione are running away from Nagini, Ron uses a green spell against Nagini. And that's because he's using the Killing Curse on Nagini, which is the first and only time any of the main three ever used one of the unforgivable curses. Do you guys know that? Let me know in the comments. What is one muggle thing that you think Arthur Weasley would absolutely lose his mind over? Probably like a condom because he definitely does not know those exist. Okay, we need to talk about Scorpius Malfoy. <laughs> See, I tell you what, there's a scene in the first movie when Harry gets the wand, uh, the broom delivered. The broom, yeah. Watch out for this. You know, when the owl yeah. flies in. We shot that ten times. The scene that's always shown is me sticking my head in the floor, in the table. Yeah. Like the, for no reason. I've got no reason to do it. <laughs> Everybody else goes there. like, and apart from James, as he comes by, he's just <laughs> like that. Born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared and said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called. How I imagined the Weasley family to look like whilst reading the books. Now, just because we're on a girls' trip does not mean we have to act like complete idiots. That's true, I suppose. But can we go clubbing? No, Luna, we should experience some culture. Hermione, we're in Wizarding Ibiza. Clubbing is the culture. Yeah, Ginger, I mean, Ginny is right, Hermione. So take the wand out of your arse for once and let's go to a club, please. This is totally barbaric. Hermione, we may have a slight problem. What do you mean? Jenny may or may not have just put someone through a table. In my defence, they were rude. <laughs> okay, where's Luna? Oh, uh, there she is. <laughs> Luna, who are you giggling at? There's no one there. Of course there is. You just can't see him, that's all. Oh, uh, like a thestral? Sort of, except you can't see him because you haven't seen death. You can't see it because you're not on acid. Hurry! It's Amani! I can move my arms and legs again. Petrified, were you? I know how that feels. So next year, can I help in choosing the defence against the... Oh, shut up! Look, Hermione's back. Oh, I can barely see! Oh, that's better. Harry! We really missed you, Hermione. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! They're so cute! Oh, it is great, sweet. Oh my god, she's letting go. She's... Oh, oh! Yes, you are going down!
I'm gonna go down, down, down. Double or nothing. Eighty galleons. You know nothing about human beings. I'll take that bit. What do you mean? I know about these things. If she doesn't want to hug him now while he's a satsuma, she's not gonna want to hug him when he's a pumpkin. Anyway, everyone sit down. I have an announcement. I'm about to come into some money and I'm pretty happy about it. So exams have been cancelled. What? A's for Gryffindors, C's for Slytherins. What about the rest? The rest of what? The other two houses. Who? Link in the description. Are you interested in buying yourself some Harry Potter merch? Some amazing hoodies, shirts with your favorite HP University logo on it. From Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. Go click the link in my description box now. And get some awesome discounts from 20% up to 55% off. They offer you free shipping as well. So, what are you waiting for? Link in the description. Yeah. What's your idea? You should be. I'm not gonna be merciful. Should they be? gonna find a way to make this my entire personality and also make it everyone else's fucking problem make a nerd cry in five words or less after all this time So there's a Harry Potter theory I want to share with you guys. When Lily Potter died, Molly Weasley took Harry in as her own and welcomed him to her family. So in return, when Fred died, Lily Potter was there to welcome him to heaven and take him in as her own. This is my big dance day. Hey, baby, won't you look my way? I can be your new addiction. Hey, baby, what you gotta say? All you're giving me is fiction. I'm a sorry sucker, and this happens all the time. I find out that everybody talks, everybody talks, everybody talks. It started with the whisper. When somebody tries you, what did you say? I think the fuck not, you trick ass bitch. No. <laughs> Hi, yeah, does anybody ever wonder if any, no, 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 how many little 11 year old witches or wizards left Ollivanders absolutely bawling their eyes out because an ugly wand chose them? Because not to throw myself under the bus or anything, but that would have been me. Okay, if I was Voldemort, here are my horcruxes. Um, I'm starting off with a plastic water bottle. I definitely would just throw this shit into the Pacific Ocean and he would never find it. A band-aid. I would just put it in the dump, see what happens. 
If he finds it, great. Don't think he will though. A singular Kleenex that I would then put inside of a box and then attach weights to said box and then drop it in the Atlantic Ocean. Toenail clippings that I would scatter across a field. A stick. I would probably throw it in the forest. I don't know. A panda bear because it's illegal to kill them. And it would be funny if you went to jail for killing a panda. And finally, Dumbledore. I would definitely put some like psychological twist on this. I'd make him think that it was like something else and then it comes out that it's actually Dumbledore and he has to like kill him. I don't know. Moaning Myrtle's wearing glasses, right? Like we can agree that Moaning Myrtle is wearing glasses. How did she get killed by the basilisk? The glasses were in the way. Professor, is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why should that mean that it's not real? Put a price on emotion. Look. When you told me the whole story, I felt like going up. I could see it on your face, it was rough. Left a bad taste on your Worship me on your knees. Can't you see my panties are filled with big dick energy? I make money and I get dick too. Your husband's dick was how my sorting ceremony went in my DR. The sorting hat sings its song. When I call your name, you will put on the hat and sit on the stool to be sorted. Abbott, Hannah. Oh shit, that means I have to go next. Hufflepuff. Oh my god, is that George sitting out there? Fuck, fuck, fuck. George sees me looking at him and gives me a thumbs up. Fuck, he saw me looking. Somebody Avada Kedavra me, please. Abbott, Julia, fuck. Ravenclaw. Gets up to go sit at the Ravenclaw table and deadass trips on my robes. Sits next to a third year named Roger Davies. Wow. Did it hurt when you fell? Winks. Oh my fucking god. Hogwarts is fictional. Do you know that? It's important to me that you know that. Oh, Drake. Ah! It's time to go on a daily walk. <gasps> People! Draco, we need to be safe. We're safe! Three, two, one. Press, 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 press. Cardi don't need more press. Kill them all, put them hoes to rest. Walk in bulletproof vest. Please tell me who she gon' check. Murder scene, Cardi. Gardens dick and some big tall hills, big fat checks, big large bills, run out flip like 10 car wheels, cold ass bitch. I give raw shoes, 10 different looks in my lip. I wanna get married, like the curry, Steph and Aisha shit, but we more. 
Like Belly, Tommy and Keisha shit Gave you TLC, you wanna creep and shit Said little bitch, you can fuck with me if you wanted to These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes Hit the school, I can get them both, I don't wanna choose I don't give a fuck I just cried the entire time I was in the shower. It can't get worse than this. It's so downhill for me. <laughs> oh. Please marry me. Just get down on your knees. I mean, it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Or knee, rather. <laughs> No. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct, but it's wordy and hard to read. The incredible thing about the Harry Potter franchise is how it touched fans of all ages across the world. And to the children who loved Harry Potter, I want to say your enthusiasm was the real magic. I so enjoyed being on the journey with you. And to the adults who bought the Harry Potter books and devoured them, I just want to say those books were for children. <laughs> you were reading children's books. I know they were long, but that's because the letters were big. You know, for children? Uh, I am joking, of course. I would never insult the adult fans of Harry Potter. Though if I did, what's the worst they could do? It's not like the ones they carry around are real. It's for a dollar, who seems like a terrible person? Uh, oh my god, I can't say the first person that came to mind. No, say it! I guess I, no, I can't say, say it! Say it! No, I'd be out of the- Say it! I'd be out of the- Say it! The answer is Leo Remedy! The Golden Trio GC Part 2 Harry added Hermione to the chat. Ron apologize. Fine and sorry, I guess. You have to mean it. Fuck off, Harry, I did mean it. Somebody's angry. Ron, shut up. This is why I fucked your sister. Pardon. Six. You did what now? Did I stutter? Oh, ha ha. Ron added Jenny to the chat. What do you want? Hi, Jenny. Hello, Harry. Did you and Harry do it? Ah. Uh. Jenny has left the chat. Ha 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 ha. Yikes. Harry, I'm gonna kill you? Goldie's not gonna like that. Hi guys, and welcome to Harry Potter Facts. You probably wouldn't know if you didn't read the books, part 10. Regulus was absolutely livid when he found out that Creature had been left to die by Voldemort. And so, he went about creating a duplicate of Salazar Slytherin's locket. He then had Creature show him back to the cave where the original locket had been hidden. Creature showed Regulus to the basin, which held the potion and the locket, and Regulus drank the potion rather than making Creature do it. He then handed the real locket to Creature and replaced it with the fake that he made, and he informed Creature that he was to leave and never tell anybody in the family what happened for their safety. Regulus had hidden a note inside the fake locket where he identified himself as R.A.B. and said that he hoped that Voldemort had returned to mortality because of him. After finishing the entire potion, he tried to drink from the lake where he was dragged to his death by the Inferi. No one would ever know how he died and Sirius would be led to believe that he was killed for trying to back out of being a Death Eater. By the time the truth of Regulus's heroism was revealed by Harry, Sirius had already died. Both died trying to take down Voldemort. I guess I'm just too tough to cry. I got my driver's license last week. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. I'm on a call on whiskey.
I'm not finished. PLSS, I can't believe Tom said this on live. Well, one of them was very large and the other rather skinny. Not the boys, the Dementors. Ha! Get it together, Felicia! Everything turned cold, like all the happiness had gone from the world. Better, yes, but more emotion! It was like depression personified, like I could never escape. Perfect! As you can see from exhibit this one, this is a bona fide Dementor attack. Dementors don't just simply wander into suburbs and happen across wizards. The odds are astronomical. Call me Miss Marple, but I don't think anyone's saying it was an accident. <gasps> Excuse me? Oh, yes, of course, you are excused. Please leave. <laughs> Fudgy. Before her, we were tight, okay? Listen to me, man. If you run the Dementors, but the Dementors are running amok, you don't run them. Who runs them, Fudge? He's not back! Ugh! Virgin see this stuff? Is that why I'm not seeing this shit? Not every fucking plant is poison ivy, Stanley. Oh, look at this motherfucker! He's leaking hamburger helper! Holy shit, what happened to you? Go blow your dad, you bullet-wearing asshole! Link in the description. Are you interested in buying yourself some Harry Potter merch? Some amazing hoodies, shirts with your favorite HP University logo on it. From Slytherin, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff. Go click the link in my description box now. And get some awesome discounts from 20% up to 55% off. They offer you free shipping as well. So, what are you waiting for? Link in the description. I solemnly swear to live, laugh, love. Weasley. What on earth is she up to? Vandalism. I've got to tell Professor. Wait. I know how to fix this. Live, laugh, love. Much better. When you told me the whole story, I felt like going up. I can see it on your face, it was rough. Left a bad taste on your tongue. Characters that give off Weasley to an energy. So you think you gonna take it? I never really knew that she could dance like this. She make a man wanna speak Spanish. Como se llama? Then there's Ravenclaw, typically known as the wise and clever ones. Oh, that is me, isn't it? The ones who think they're smarter than everyone else? Well, I don't think I'm smarter than everyone else. I know I'm smarter than everyone else. Give I don't give Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Welcome to Wonderland, we've got it all. Potions and pastries that make you... Cedric Dickery. Look at me, 
worship me on your knees. Can't you see my panties are filled with big dick energy? The life of a background Gryffindor. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm not allowed to go into the common room. Why? Oh, because Harry might get murdered. I mean, fair enough. Maybe I'm the murderer. Exams are cancelled. I know, how sad. This, I mean, Harry being here while we're here has its pros and cons. Pros, we win the House Cup every year because Dumbledore is biased. Cons, something very traumatic happens every year. Uh, is that really what my hair looks like from the back? Did you just nearly blow our cover because of your hair? It was so bad, Harry. Peaky, Peaky, we've got to go. Oh, I can't go right now. I've got an appointment. Shh, Beaky, it's not a real appointment. We've got to go. They're going to kill you. What kind of joke is this? It's not a joke, Buckbeak. We've got to go. Go, 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 go. Ow. <laughs> Come on, Buckbeak. What part of appointment? Don't you understand? I just want to be pampered. What's wrong with you? I don't want toenails like Voldemort. You ain't seen those yet. You're lucky. Come on, Buckbeak. Get the nice dead ferret. <gasps> Draco Malfoy. Dumbledore. Oh my god, where's the chicken pony gone? Cornelius, did you steal the chicken pony? Well, no. Oh great, neither did we. It's gone four o'clock, shall we get on the sesh? Oh, you want to see my mini bar? Yes! His shot glasses are massive. No, please have a word family. Uh. Oh, 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 oh.